All right, now I can run uh, My eyes are so afraid of crying. What are we gonna do, baby? What the piss? Just waiting for some people to come in a room. Okay. Dang. Hi, viewer. I'm coming now. I just wanted to, uh, hold on. I want to get to where I can make sure my audio is good. All right. So it sounds good. Now I can respond in the chat. What is up, y'all? It is your girl Lala, aka Lachelle, aka Shell, aka Michelle, my bell. And while I have fixed my audio, I don't know what's going on with my eyeballs. <laughs> So I'm going to turn the camera around because this is not about me. 
This is about the twins that y'all love so much. So I raised this little sky box, if y'all haven't noticed. It's only like 13 fringe, I think it was. Cost me 10 linden because I wanted you all to see a replica of how the twins room look because it's hard to record from the house. So this is a replica of the twins room and I wanted to show y'all the bot system that I use. Let me camera around so y'all can see the actual twins. So these are my babes, Abe and Femi. Y'all see them matching. <laughs> so, cute. so I am going to show y'all how I operate them. I turned their AOs off for the sake of this video but look at them they're so adorable look at my tits. i'm sorry y'all i gotta get a print screen all right anyway <laughs> so here are the twins and they are on the bot system now i use a combination of things because i don't specifically like one thing like all of them do stuff that i like a little bit and all of them have stuff that in my personal opinion are missing now to be quite honest with you it comes down to a matter of preference in what you're looking for excuse me so y'all know people can be kind of fickle in sl whether it's them coming or going which they have every right to or sometimes just their attitude so i, <laughs> I ended up creating my own little sl bubble that I love to play in that and y'all know I have my own web series if you haven't watched it please go check out life with the gym gens I put a lot of work into it but with having my own SL series it's just hard to depend on people because people have their own responsibilities in real life and so on and so forth so I turned my babies into bots plus I had Zuby babies and they were taking too long to grow them they do different things now but I did this months ago so I'm not about to go back but Zuby's cool. It's just that at the time I needed them to progress and Zuby wasn't able to do it because they were working on it. They had animus restrictions and all this stuff out of their control. So out of respect for them, I'm not bashing Zuby, but to be quite frank, they were just taking too long. So I ended up growing the twins into toddlers, which they were older anyway. They're toddler. They should be toddler age anyway. But I grew them into toddlers and started using a bot system. So the bot system I currently use the most for role play is, excuse me, sorry, I just drank orange juice, is the Chunky Monkey program. Now, Chunky Monkey has two different systems. They have just a regular Chunky Monkey system, and then they have the Wanderer system. So what y'all are about to see is the Chunky Monkey Wanderer system, and it's basically a program that enables your bots to wander around on their own, just like it sounds. So for role play purposes, if you're just looking to get videos, pictures, or you just want role play and you don't have a lot of people around, this comes in handy. Now I've paired it with the yes, no system, and I'll show y'all that on Marketplace. And it's combined with a, what I like to call an analog version of like Firestorm. Now, Firestorm didn't create it. It's created by a whole nother company. And I'll do a separate video about that. But just so you see, it's just like an analog system to where I can run them just like I would a normal avatar without taking all the wear and tear on my graphics card. So a little bit of out of character information. Yes, I have a gaming laptop, but running multiple, multiple profiles at one time can to put wear and tear on anybody's stuff. So... I run them on this program because I've learned it very well. Not the, the Wanderer is easy, but the other program I use where I can operate them just like I operate my own avatar, I have put a lot of time <laughs> and energy into it and I've learned how to finesse that program to where I can run all three of us without any problem. But the Wanderer system is great for, especially if you have company, then you don't have to worry about operating them. They kind of move on their own. So first you'll get a folder. I'm going to open it in my inventory so y'all can see. Wanderer. I don't know what I was doing before. <laughs> Astaya, what's the name? So, you'll go to Chunky Monkey and you'll buy the Wanderer system. And in a nutshell, you get a childhood. You have to go buy the childhood. You have to go buy the parenthood. The child, of course, wears the childhood. The parent wears the parenthood. Now, if you can see on my screen, which let me check in the 
video. Can you see it? No, you can't. I have two different ones because they're HUDs. You have to attach them to your screen so that I know whose is who. I change them different colors. So this blue one, that of course is Abe's. And the pink one, of course, is Femi's. And you're probably like, well, can't you put them both on the same HUD? Yes, you can. But if you want to run multiple bots at the same time and you want them to do different things and not possibly end up bumping into each other, you want to put on separate HUDs. Again, it's a matter of preference. So how you put furniture into the HUD so that they can move around. For example, I posted a video last night. If y'all don't follow me on social media, just go check it out on Instagram. My Instagram is Lachelle Bell SL. My Facebook is Lachelle Genera, I think. Y'all know my information will be down below. <laughs> but I posted a video of security footage of them. I put them play. I said they were playing after I put them to bed. Again, all a part of my role play. So these are their hoods that I wear because this is how I control them. Now to put furniture and whatnot for them to actually wander around, what you do is you would res the parent hood, right? And there's I just res the copy of Femi's old one. I'm not, I deleted this one because I added more furniture. But, no, you know what, y'all? I'm not even going to do that. I'm about to do it for her real one. So I'm going to detach Femi's. And I'm going to show y'all because I want to show you how I add furniture. Hello to all my viewers. Hey, 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 y'all. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying not to make this crazy long. So I just took Femi's Wanderer hood off. Again, I have them colored so I know who is who when I'm telling them to do stuff for role play purposes. So I'm gonna close this. Where is it at? All right, that's the one I'm wearing as AIDS. It's copy, so what I do when I'm making changes is I res the one I wanna modify and then I delete it from my inventory so I don't accidentally reattach it. So this is Femi's. All I did was right click, go to edit, texture, and I made it pink. Cause it's normally just a white color. This is what the HUD would look like. Oh, this is what the HUD would look like if I didn't color it. So I'm just going to cancel because I don't want to do that. So how you do it is when you get the HUD, it has two cards in it. It has a card, note card for the SIM and a note card for the actual furniture. Now in the furniture's note card, you want to put all the furniture you expect the twins to interact with no matter where they are. So this comes in handy, especially if you have multiple SIMs. So the furniture's card has all the furniture, and then you have an actual SIM card that says on this SIM, this is the particular furniture I want them to interact with. So I'm gonna open Femi's furniture card from the build tools content folder, and then this is the SIM card. They're named accordingly. So the SIM we live on is needing point. So I named the note card needing point. Now you're looking and like, they say the same thing, Shell. Well, I don't have another SIM that they're gonna be wandering on, at least not yet. But when I do, then you'll see a note card in there for that and you'll see more furniture listed under the furniture's card. It's just based on, like I said, the furniture you have and the SIM. So the reason I open the furniture's card and the SIM card is because I actually want to add a piece of new furniture so I can show y'all how I do it. So I got this gotcha for Femi and this is how you do the card. So because you have the choice of allowing your bots to wander around on their own or specifically placing them on pieces, you want to make sure you have your menu buttons super simple. So for example, this is, it says LB capsule chair clouds. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into my furniture's card first and I'm going to say uh, Femi cloud chair or something. Or I'll just put like cloud chair. Right? And then I'll put the equal sign and I'm going to paste exactly what I copied. So that way the system recognizes that particular object. So I'm going to save that under her furniture's. So she can always go to that. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I just did in here. In fact, you can copy and paste it. The same thing that I just did for the furniture's note card, I can put right in the sim one. So cloud chair equals that. So that way, whenever her menu pops up and I see that button, I know that that's where it's going to sit her. So I'm going to show y'all what that is.
And I just want to show y'all, this is how I add furniture that I want this, the babies to wander to or if I want to specifically sit them on it. So now I'm going to pull it back into my inventory. I'm just going to right click and take it. Boom. Remember y'all, that one is age. That's why it's blue. So I know who is who because they have their own separate furniture. So I'm about to attach Femmies. And then I'm going to, y'all about to see me detach Abe's. And do the same thing with his. I'm going to res it on the ground. Even though it's a hood. Delete the copy I have in my inventory. Because I don't want to accidentally put that on. And now he has the pineapple chair. So I'm going to put. Copy and paste. The name of the item. Straight out of the description portion. And then I'm going to go into his. And I'm going to say under furniture. I'm going to put just his P chair. And then equals, and I'm going to paste the actual item name. Then I'm going to be lazy and just copy and paste the whole thing and put it into the SIM card. Again, this tells the wandering program whenever they are on this SIM, here's the furniture I want them to wander to. So once I get my spot on Havenwood, because I'm speaking that into fruition, then I'll have a Havenwood wherever I'm on Ferreira or Northern Lights, whatever sim I'm on there. I'll create another note card and whatever furniture I want the children to wander to, that card is going to be in here as well. So now I'm going to take Abe's back in, take, and I'm going to attach his. Again, you could color them. You can not color them. You can have them go to separate furniture. You can have them go to the same furniture. It's your prerogative. For those of you who just came in the room, this is a replica of the kid's room. This is just a tin linden skybox I got off Marketplace. It's easier for me to film here than in the house because there are so many other pieces. The camera is going through walls and it's obnoxious. So I got this little skybox and replicated their rooms, kind of, so that y'all can see how this works. So now... First, I'm going to show y'all me specifically putting the kids on an item. Now, I also, I'm not going to lie, use the no yes hood. This is what I use when I'm out and about and sometimes even when I'm using the Chunky Monkey system. I just really like it. There it is. So it's, this is the yes, no hood. And it's basically a RLV system where you have to... Excuse me. You can control your kids, basically. So they have to have RLV enabled. Excuse me. And then you use this system. So see? Y'all go check them out on Marketplace. And it is simply, I'm going to show y'all a little bubble over their head. And I can click it. And I can say, yes, they did something good. So I'm going to reward them. Or... No, they did something bad and here are the punishments like they got SWAT on there or I can lock their hood I could take away something hold their hand sit them on an item um, Change their outfits TP them now the TP one what you do is you click TP and then wherever you go You go to your friends list and offer a teleport like you would any other friend and then it'll automatically pull them Like they don't accept it. <laughs> it just pulls them and for five minutes you can force TP them anywhere you want there's a carry function. I'm not going to get into that today. That's going to be its own video. I really just wanted to talk about the Chunky Monkey system. So I have their wandering hoods on. Again, the, ba the babies have to have their own hood. There's a child wanderer hood that you get from Chunky Monkey. And then there's a parent. The parent hood dictates what the child does. So for Femmies, first I'm going to say add bot. And it pulls up her legacy name, but I'm just going to put Femi because I don't know going to be typing all that. Right. And then I'm going to add Abe to his same function. Click it, add bot. It found Abe. And if their names aren't pop popping up, you can click the scan button. And if they still don't pop up, it means you need to get closer to them. So I'm going to click Femi's. And for example, I'll just sit her on something. So we'll click choose. And then you see, remember that note card you were updating where I was like, hey, create names for your stuff. Oh, look at that it's cloud chair. We That's the one we just added, right? So I'm going to click cloud chair and it should sit for me on it. Look, boom, look at my poop, look at my little poop, poop. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm going to go into her actual bot system 
and it add, then she can pick what she want to do and I just now I'm going to move her down let me move this up here oh poop I didn't want to maximize it uh, I'm going to move her down so V and we going to drop her um cause she's sitting up too high I don't like it I'm just adjusting her position y'all sorry I cannot just look at her wrong on this thing <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go into, I think it was Z, bring her forward, so there you go, and then I'm going to go back. Is there a save all? No, that's whack. That means I have to reset, reset her position every time. That's annoying. So that's how I set Femi on the chair. I didn't touch her. I just told the system, hey, I want Femi to sit down, and she is sitting. Okay, y'all, this is like my issue. <laughs> I hate when they're not sitting right. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Um, boop, 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 boop. What do we think will come? Uh, she's sitting like in the cushion. Okay, let's go back. I don't like that you can't save it on this chair. Ooh. Okay, so Femi's sitting in her little chair that I put her in. Now we're going to do the same for Abe, right? So let's put Abe in his chair. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click his, I'm gonna click choose, and then I'm gonna say put him in his P chair because I think I labeled it that for pineapple chair. And look, oh, is he gonna get over the chair? There he goes. And now Abe the babe is in his chair, hopping up and down. We're gonna pick a different sit. Now, for this program that Chunky Monkey uses, as you can see, there's the menu, and I can choose what he does. I can choose how to position him, and so on and so forth. So let's have him play a video game in his chair. And then we're going to change his position. Uh, I think it was Y. Okay. Uh, him playing a video game. I hate that y'all can't, you can't save their position because it's like, Okay, ugly. Dream. Let's see what dream looks like. That's what dream looks like. Y'all, I'm just playing with his sits. Yeah. I don't care for this chair because it doesn't save their position. And I hate having to go in and do this a thousand times. I'm checking my chat. If y'all have any questions, go ahead and ask me. If you want, like, in-world help, just message me ahead of time so that I, um, I can make sure we got everything together. So, anyway... This is how the choose function works when you want to sit them on specific objects. When I'm role playing, I normally don't do that unless I'm trying to take a picture or shoot a specific video or I'm in like a specific role play scene. Like, I don't know, maybe we're doing some family stuff. Then I don't want them doing their own thing. Okay, I got uh, messages. So here's where my yes, no hood thing comes in handy. The one I just showed y'all on Marketplace. Watch this. Boop. and she stood up and I'm gonna do the same thing for Abe Boop. and it stands him right up another thing I can operate the avatars as in like if I want them to turn around and face me like for example I'm filming right now who's this who's this filming Femi oh poop acting like that okay there we go so I'm gonna use the arrows to turn her and these are the same way we will use arrows on our keyboard to turn ourselves around so look, now Femi is facing us. Isn't that cute? Okay. <laughs> Did I close it? Okay, I didn't. That's age. I gotta be careful, y'all. So I have a habit of, which I think I just did. I have a habit of closing the screens. Dang it. All right. Nope. So I'm gonna bring Femi back real quick. Now I'm gonna show y'all random. Now this might take like 10 to 15 minutes because the HUD says when it comes to random, it can let, uh oh, there she go. It could last like, it could take two to 15 minutes to move them. So now I'm gonna go to Abe and I'm gonna put him on random. Now this is what I did last night where your kids, no kidding, will just randomly go to the stuff that you placed in that note card. So for those of you who weren't here, in these HUDs, there are note cards. You have furniture, 
and then you have it broken down by sims so you'll have a note card with the sim name and the furniture information in it just like y'all see this i create my own buttons so on the menu where i see green chair it's going to sit him on the tiptoes prehistoric dino seat green so it's going to sit him here but that's just for the menu button anyway you all you have the furniture's note card where you put all the furniture you want them to interact with and then you have the sim label one where you say okay on this particular sim here's the furniture i want them to interact with so that's that let me assign femi to hers just in case it lost her when she logged off and i'm gonna put her on random too and then from here i'm kind of just gonna let the kids do their own thing and then if y'all have questions y'all could let me know Oops, sorry I'm just trying to zoom out because I don't know where it's gonna make them go that's what happened to me last night <laughs> so I put all their furniture kind of in the area so they can be seen whenever they do stuff and that's why I'm using this skybox because the house house stuff gets in the way of the cam and I'm about to move this so that y'all could see him better dang you keep zooming out I don't know where they're going to go because it's on random. So wherever they go is where they go. Um, hopefully it doesn't take long, y'all. At this point, it's just a matter of waiting. I'm gonna put this over here now since y'all know what their hoods look like. Again, these are the Chunky Monkey Wanderer hoods. You don't have to buy both. I just got them because I was being extra. I barely use the other one to be honest and that's a matter of preference nothing wrong with chunky monkey don't y'all run around trying to be messy going she said the other one is trash that's not what i said i said i don't use the other one so just give them a minute i'll answer any questions y'all have um if you're inboxing me i can't see it until i get off live but i will definitely get back to you scouts honor <sighs> Mm -hmm. Will y'all start moving? <laughs> I told y'all, and it'd be like this too. Like in the, it's just in the beginning, really. Once they start, once they start roaming or whatever, they'll keep doing it after that. It's just that jump start of it making them move. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Come on. I already knew for demonstration purposes y'all was going to act up. <laughs> Ooh, don't call. I wonder something I didn't think about y'all I already have this furniture res in their bedroom I wonder if it's confusing the system that I have duplicates and are they trying to hi is your name gyra I wonder if it's confused I didn't even think about that I probably should have raised other stuff <laughs> Because they actually have this in their room. What y'all think? Should I go to their room? Okay, I got it right. Yay! Hi, Jaira. I gave it a few minutes. But I'm wondering if they're confused. Well, no. Well. Mm -mm. I guess we'll see. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I put the babies on random and I'm waiting for them to move. According to the note card, it could take anywhere from 2 to 15 minutes for them to move. I'm hoping it don't take the 15 minutes. <laughs> it's true. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm 
I didn't check the card to see how close they got to be just in case the other furniture is interfering. So for the people who just came in the room, like I was saying, I was wondering if, because I replicated their room in this sky box, but I was wondering if it's creating any confusion in the scripts because it's looking for furniture that's duplicated and it don't know which one to go to. I'm going to give it like maybe five more minutes and then if they don't move, I might res something different and see if that works. Or, or, I could just delete all the other furniture on the note card because these are the only two things that are new and not duplicated on the sim. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see. I'll give it a few minutes, but if they don't move soon, I'm going to do that. And that way, when I put in random, that's the only thing they have to go to. Hmm. What y'all think? Should I do that or just go to their room? What box system do I use? Uh, this one, this particular one is the Chunky Monkey Wanderer. <clears throat> Let me make sure. Yeah, so this one is the I also use this one when I'm out and about and sometimes at home too like just when I want them to get off of furniture I use this second one come on make a move oh this is lame all right y'all we might have to have a change of plans they're not moving and I don't have the patience so here's what we're gonna do which is cool because that means y'all get another demonstration <laughs> I'm gonna just take all of this and send it back to her hey what y'all want so I'm gonna return that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh wait, she went to play with the blocks. Y'all see? <laughs> there it go. All right. I'm sorry, family. I returned all your stuff. That's okay. Watch this. So y'all see how Femi just went and played with the blocks on her own? She's living her best baby life. That's how it works. All I had to do was give it some time. Now I gotta go reread her stuff. Cause it's not what I thought. I just really need to be patient. And then on the alternate system that they use, the actual, how do I talk about it? Like, you know how we use Firestorm or we use the Second Life Viewer? There's an analog viewer that you use for the kids. Cause it's again, not as much wear and tear on your system. So I'm going to, um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. What do I want to do? Lost and found. Raised in world. Did it come back? There you go. Oh, Lord. Now I got to put all this stuff back up. All right. So I'm going to put all Femi stuff back. No, I just want to really touch them lights. I'm going to put her stuff back. So... She can sit on it. But yeah, that's how it works. I'm waiting for Abe. What's taking him so long? But this is how I do, y'all. And I'll just record them. And I'll do it while I'm cooking or working out or whatever I'm doing. And I kind of just let the twins do their own thing. And the most I'll do, even when I have people babysit. So the twins used to go to Once Upon a Time daycare it's closed right now i think temporarily i'm not sure 
but they used to go there. And so while I'm somewhere on a whole different sim doing something completely different, because I'm I have them on this particular system here, which it's Rage Gas, Raid Gas. You can find it on YouTube, Google. I found out about Raid Gas long before I started using Chunky Monkey. So she can't be like, oh, you telling people I'm not. I found out about it before I even knew about your system. So when I use that, I can be anywhere. My avatar can be anywhere. Yes, they are on separate SL accounts. But my avatar could be anywhere and I could get a pop-up menu so I can, <laughs> she'll be at daycare and I'll get a menu pop-up and like make her throw a tantrum or something. <laughs> so when I come back to the daycare center, she'll be telling me, oh, that's my mama. The daycare provider will be telling me how Femi fell out. I'm like, what? <laughs> And the yes, no HUD, the thing I was telling y'all about, the secondary one I use, the thing on their head. See how I got that? Here, I'll do show transparent stuff. So they have these bulbs on their head. And it's an RLV thing. And I can, the yes thing is they did something good and you can reward them. Like they got story time, TV time, candy, all that other stuff. Then they have the no, that's if they did something bad. You put soap in their mouth ground them put them in the corner uh that's what time out is you put the binky in their mouth then it's just a bunch of stuff it can do you can take stuff away from them you can hold their hand sit them on objects the same thing that i just did with the wanderer i can do with the yes snow hood but it's easier when i'm out and about the wanderer you use at home or areas where you have control the yes snow hood is easier everywhere else you can do their outfits Force TP them, carry them, stand them up, um, grab their ear, check their temperature, or TP to them. Like, you could do all of that stuff on the Yes No Hood. I'll do a separate video for that. But for the Wanderer, it kind of just takes them and puts them on furniture. And like I said, I don't know why Abe isn't going random. I'm just going to put him somewhere. So, I'm going to put Abe on his chair. So... I created a note card and I said put Abe on his chair and y'all see him I'm not touching him and he just went and sat in his chair and when he sits down if it's a menu item hey candy if it's a menu item I'll get a pop-up and then I can determine what I want them to do and then I could just go on about my business so if anybody were to come to my house they'll walk into the room they'll see Femi playing with blocks and Abe laying in his chair nope Chunky Monkey is a one-time thing. I think when I got it, it was like a thousand Linden and I paid for two. So when I bought mine, she was like, if you buy more than one, she'll give you a certain amount of refund. I contacted her multiple times and didn't get a dime back unless she sent it to me at a random time and I didn't see it because I wasn't online or something. I contacted her multiple times like, hey, I bought two systems. I know you do a partial refund. Cause I had multiple kids, so on and so forth. And I didn't get anything. I went to the new store though. I didn't see if she was still giving partial refunds, but I never got mine. Again, I'm not trying to bash her, but y'all know if I'm going to do a review, it's going to be honest and I'm going to give the full review. But yeah. Y'all want me to take y'all to the Chunky Monkey store? Hold on. Let me res my babysitter. <laughs> So I have a mesh babysitter that I raise to watch my kids. I know y'all like, is she really raising a babysitter? Yes. Just let me live my life. <laughs> so that's their mesh babysitter. She talks to them and everything. I'm going to take y'all to Chunky Monkey. Hopefully I can have my mic on while I'm there. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go to Chunky Monkey. Maybe I can spell it right. That'll help. Thank you. I can't leave my babies alone. It be making me feel guilty. <laughs> so I'm going to teleport to Chunky Monkey. Let's see if I can have. Yes, I can have my mic on here. Is it anybody else here? 
Uh, I think so. So I'm gonna go in world and I'm gonna put show friends only. Shout out to Mousy, the ultimate clout chaser, for showing me that. I didn't even realize that that was a thing, and I've been on SL like 14 years. All right, so here we are at the Chunky Monkey Babies and Lily Bug Sim. You just type Chunky Monkey into the search and you go. Because this is a, this is not, I don't think this is where I initially came. It's not even set up the same anymore. So is this Chunky Monkey or Lily's? Little Bug. I don't know. Is this? No. So I think I need to go in the other door. I don't even know if this is owned by the same people. I'm stressed out. <laughs> Alright, so here is the Chunky Monkey store. Legacy Zuby hair and clothing upstairs. No, thank you. Looks like they got something new. What is this? Whoa, mama. Oh, let me see. Y'all, let's see what this is talking about. I know I get distracted easily. I hurry up. Oh, a pregnancy and everyday AO all in one. You can use this while you're pregnant as well as when you're not. And it looks like you have twins on board. Oh, these are tummy talkers. All right. Let me go back to where I was supposed to be, child. All right, let me see if I can find the hoods. I think it's in here. So those are the bumpers for if you bump into the kids. It, like, says something. I got a bumper that turns me into Mario coins. <laughs> Like, you'll bump me and my body will disappear and I'll turn and it'll pop into my Mario coins. All right. So, looks like she has another bot system where you can make your own nanny. And they have nanny of, I like how they tried to be diverse. They all got the same hair. But I like how they tried to be diverse with that. I appreciate your diversity, Chunky Monkey. Thank you. And this was before everything went down. So, they've been had this level of diversity. All right, so you got a nanny bot. It says it includes a bot system, software, mesh avatar, hair, five colors, AO uniform, alpha hood. I'm curious to try this. Y'all want to see me try the nanny bot? I don't know if I'll try it today because this live about to be long. <laughs> but y'all want to see me try the nanny bot? All right, so her warnings on the wall say bot software may or may not work with mac computers message me for software link to test first uh you will need to wear a separate hood for the nanny and child bot all child bots can be on one hood all nannies can be on one hood so i'm assuming it will work the same way you did the child hoods do you love to see it oh, candy had to come in here and be a bad influence purchase the bot system on your main account got it how much is this so the nanny system is also a thousand linden. I'm gonna do a separate video with the nanny one because I gotta figure it out first. And then, unless y'all want to stumble through it together, you can create your own mesh avatar or use the items in this package. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll create another AV. I think I already have an avatar who I can make a nanny anyway. So remember, I told y'all that they have two different bot systems. They have just the regular bot system, and then they have the wanderer. The one I just showed y'all with the, those functions in it, that's just the Wanderer hood. I do have both. I don't really use this main one though, but it could work for you. It just depends on your your um, preference for role play. So you have the child, the Chunky Monkey bot system. You can dress your child, give them toys, have them follow you or others, TP them to where you are, sit them on furniture, go to bed. They have sounds for babies, toddlers, and children. You can pass the HUDs to family and friends, which you can. I passed it to their daycare provider. The bot runs off of a software. Y'all just saw it. So you don't have to double log because we know that that takes a lot of tear on your graphics card. Um, now your child can grow once your prim baby has grown to max stage. You can switch the bot system, switch to a bot system and grow your child to any age. So that's the Chunky Monkey bot system. I'm going to show y'all how much that is. That's two thousand. So I actually paid four thousand dollars. Still waiting for that refund, but you know, <laughs> just saying. But the main bot system is two thousand Linden, and this is what I was showing y'all: the Wanderer. Now it says works with the Chunky Monkey bot system. Parent or family hood needs to be purchased on that AV or gifted to them. Bot hood needs to be purchased on the bot or gifted to them to gift the wonder the wanderer hoods right click the vendor click menu gift so 
you have a parent and family hood so you and your significant other your mama your aunties whoever you want to be able to control your child the same way y'all just saw me do they would need to get this one they're all labeled so you know which one to get must be purchased by the parent or family member or use the gift option so if you're a kid and you maybe want people to act in a familiar capacity or you know to adult over you basically you will gift the hud to them it's not transferable so that's why you have to use the gift option then you have the bot wanderer now this part is for your child how much did i say these were so these are only 500 to you get the wanderer ones it's only 500 so the family parent or family is 500 how much is the child 500 so if you just were to buy it for a parent and a child, it costs you a thousand linden. And then it tells you your bot can now interact with items on their own. You can use this to send them to a particular object or allow them to wander around randomly. Like y'all saw how Femi went and started playing with the blocks and I just put her on random. Now your bot works just like a prim child. So that's it. 500 linden for the parent and the child so a thousand all together and that's that you just you read the kid will res it they'll attach it you'll res yours and attach what you need to and then update those cards outside of that y'all that's all i got let me go back to my babies because i left them stranded with that lady i don't trust her like that you gonna check them out you're welcome so like i said what i showed you today was just the wanderer hood not the main chunky monkey bot hood oh femi don't went to the bed y'all remember when we left she was playing with blocks she's in bed now <laughs> i'm gonna put a back on random i'm probably gonna take them downstairs to the house all right so that's all i got y'all um, I'm going to stand the kids up and I guess you get to see the yes, no hood in effect. I'm going to stand her up and I'm going to click TP. So now I can TP Femi wherever I want. And then I'm going to click Abe's and I'm going to stand him up. And then I'm going to click TP. Now you can also do this with the Chunky Monkey main bot hood. I just, the no yes HUD, it's already attached to them. It's easy. I just click and go. I ain't got to select a bunch of extra stuff. So I just prefer that. So I'm going to TP down to our actual house. And then watch this. I'm going to show y'all how that works. Let me go downstairs. Boop, boop, boop. Just to show y'all why I love the no yes HUD over the actual main chunky monkey bot HUD. Like, it, I could just literally operate with the no yes hood and the wanderer hood. Like, that's how I'm living for the city. So, I'm going to take y'all into the kids' room real quick. Come on. So, this is their actual room. One thing I didn't mention about the bot hood, I had like a mini wall separating them. The problem is, it takes them a long time to get around walls so if they go to wander in the direct path there's a wall it's going to take them a grip to get around that wall because they're going to keep doing like little half inch turns until they get past the wall so the wanderer function is best used in open areas so this is the baby's actual room i have it split half and half and this is what it looks like and now i'm going to show y'all how the tp function works so y'all saw me click their head and say tp now all I gotta do is find them, offer teleport, and watch them show up. Hey, there's Abe the babe living his best life. And then I'm gonna show y'all how I do for me. Same difference. Offer teleport. Cause within you got five minutes to do this. And then see. And then you see how she's on top of his head. If I want to, I could just hold her hand and it'll make her come right to me. So I'm about to go. I hope y'all enjoyed my little tutorial. I'm going to put them both back on random so that they could just play in their room and mind their business. And that's that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got what you want. Uh, you got what you need from this video.
Peace, y'all. I love y'all for free. Mm -hmm. Did this happen? Okay. Is this? I know it still better not be going, Dag Nabbit. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, you killing me, Smalls. Y'all don't know the struggle. Be real. End it. Yeah, that's how we did it. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Y'all, it won't let me out. <laughs> it won't let me out. 